it was just something about the vinyl, about the size of it, about the, the art, about the feel of it. It always more felt like something. It felt precious because you had to be so delicate with it. With vinyl, there's a tactility to it. There's, um, there's more reason to actually encounter the physical quality of the disc itself. I always liked the sound uh, that comes out of the record player um, when it dropped the needle down. I think that that's kind of maybe like a universal like between everybody that I've spoken with and why they prefer vinyl over something else. A recording on record is a smooth wave. Uh, digital is it pretty much it's, uh, it's, it's anticipating an uh, average of the sound and it's losing a lot of the subtleties. I run a shop uh, in Oakland by Lake Merritt, uh, called, uh, Bamp Music and Art, uh, combining both my loves of music and, uh, and art. It's really nice both to have the old vinyl that I can pick up for a couple dollars and really listen to things that I would never listen to on MP3 or on CD. And it's also amazing to me now that more and more artists are putting out music on vinyl. My record collection in the past um, four and a half years has grown from about maybe a hundred records to, I'm afraid to say, maybe a thousand. <laughs> starting to bring my shop mentality uh, and creating these kind of a pop-up shops. play I, I, I tell people everything I play is for sale and so uh, I'm not too attached to the, to the records anymore but I have plenty that you know I'm like a kid in my own candy store first time I DJed was at a party. My friends that have known me for years kn always knew that I loved music and I collected records and they had said, Dana, this seems like something you naturally be drawn to. I always, always, always wanted to play three songs. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> How do you kind of bring this journey of, um, of songs and genres and tempos and whatever else is involved with it with a song um, to kind of grow it into something else and so it was always a challenge in my mind like how do I do this kind of fluidly <laughs> record selecting or however people want to term it um, into my life has definitely perpetuated my um, need to buy more records. <laughs> so since I started selling records, uh, people started giving me rec records again. Like I, I kind of came full circle. Even though I have all this on CD, I have it ripped, I have it memorized by heart. It was still really important to me to have it on record.